Good morning, Internet. Hello, it's Michael here from Starstreams, back with another stranded deep video. My voice nearly went then, but it's still here, so that's fine. Listen, here's the deal. Oh, my fruit's growing nicely. Uh, anyway, yeah, I got distracted. Today, I wanted to go through some medical pharmaceutical items in Stranded Deep and what they're used for and how to craft them because A, there's not that many and B, most of them are worthless. That's my opinion anyway. I'm going to go from left to right. We've got a bandage. You should know what a bandage is by now. Even if you don't play the game, you should know what a bandage is. We've got some splints, breath boost, gaze. We've got antidote and we've got shark repellent and we're missing one. So let's craft it now. Allo salve. So we need one of these coconut flasks. And i got a plant over here. Thank you very much. Oh, we need two of them. Uh-oh. Okay. I did not plan this very well at all. Let's find this other one. Oh. I had it all mapped out. Oh, no. There is no other one. I'll be right back once I've found another one. Got another one now. So we're just going to craft this. That was not well planned. There we go. Where should we stick this? Oh, just drop it there. Okay, and aloe salve. We're going to go through each one really, really quickly. What happens when you get bitten and you start bleeding? Ah, I need a bandage. These are the bandages right here. So the bandages are really useful and they're really easy to craft. So to do the bandages, you just need to go to consumables and you need one lashing and one cloth. Why am I carrying this? Go away. Basically, you just consume it. But I don't need to consume it right now because I'm not ill. So we'll drop that. So yeah, bandage is really useful if you're bleeding out. Particularly if you get attacked by a shark. And the way you can tell is status effects. It will say bleeding. That's when you need a bandage. You should be able to find one of them or maybe two of them in your yellow raft when you first start out, which is really useful. Now, fascinating fact that you did not know about Stranded Deep. You can only ever break your left leg. That's a true fact. So when you fall and you hurt yourself and you break a leg, and again, it will tell you here, you can craft up a splint. This is a splint and you wear it and then that will fix your broken leg. To craft a splint, consumables, it's two lashing, two wood, nice and easy. I've never, ever, ever, ever used a splint. We'll go to the aloe salve as that caused me all sorts of problems a minute ago. Aloe salve, I've never used it. I don't, well, I have used it. But why am I holding a hammer? And another one. So the aloe salve is basically to stop the sun burning your face and the top of your head. So essentially with this, you just consume it and it protects you for 12 hours. Do you know what? The only time the sun's going to cause you problems is the midday, sort of 12 to 2 o'clock heat. And all you do is get in shade for about literally 30 seconds or go into the shallows and go under the water. And then... You see the SPF on your watch? When that's down to put virtually zero, I just go in the water. I just sit in here for a little bit. And then I bring my watch up and then wait for it to go up one bar. And then you're safe for another 24 hours. It's such a waste of resource. I rarely use them. But if you want to produce one of these, and let's face it, maybe you're on the raft in the sea, then it's worth taking one of these with you, I guess. To craft one of these consumables, Two plants caught me out. I thought it was one, but it was two. And a coconut flask. This is what I think of it, by the way. Ugh. Brilliant. And in fact, the splint as well. Never broken my leg. Breath boost. Not really something I've ever used either. I don't use any of these things, but you might. So the breath boost is really useful because it, it acts like a, a natural air tank. So when you consume one of these, you can stay under underwater for longer. Just get yourself an air tank. I don't know. I mean, they're everywhere. They're all over the place. So to craft, back into consumables. There we go. You need one of those ajuga plants. I don't know how you pronounce it. Ajuga and yeah, a coconut. I mean, get a tank. That was a great throw, that one. Next up, we got gaze. consumables so gaze is essentially another way of making a bandage it's the same thing um oh what's happened it's floating there that was weird if you don't have access to bandages then you can craft one of these and the way you do that is once again consumables i think they're all consumables we need a kawawa fruit a cure fruit a cure a cure 
Kiora, 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 Kiora fruit. And all, as always, a coconut flask. Looks good. Looks nice. Never used it. Bye! These two I've used. These two are quite useful. So we'll start off with this one. Oh, gosh. It's fine. This one here is antidote. So this is if you get poisoned. Where you can tell you got poisoned is on your watch. Status effect poisoned. It will say underneath. This is usually from a snake bite or from a uh, standing on one of those purple things or um, a sea creature of some kind that bites you. It's pretty useful, really useful. In fact, I recommend you always have at least one antidote, maybe even seven or eight antidotes on your person for when you get poisoned because inevitably on Stranded Deep, you are gonna get poisoned. This is the most important medicine in the game and the only one that's really worth using ever. Anti doubt ah I've got two of them last and very much least is oh it's upside down probably the hardest one to put together oh I didn't show you how to do the antidote to do the antidote consumables pippy plant you can find pippy plant usually on a beach it's a yellow colour plant uh, I'll show you what it looks like actually oh where's, where's my Wait, I'm completely disorientated. This way. There's a pippy plant. So you need one of them. And a coconut. Empty coconut. Nice and easy. These are really easy to make. Because you find pippy plant literally on every beach. And they respawn. So they're really simple. So if you see pippy, pick it. Make sure you have at least five or six of those. At least. Uh, shark repellent. Not really used when you drink that. Sharks aren't interested in you for a short period of time. It's a bit of a nightmare to put together because you run the risk of being poisoned because you're using one of these horrible lion fishy things. So if you go to consumables, shark repellent, you're looking for a lion fish and if you touch it, you will be poisoned. So have some antidote nearby before you put this together. And that is pretty much the entire medical side of stranded deep it's not that intensive and the only one i really use is the antidote uh, and the bandages i hope this video has been useful for you if it has definitely smash that thumbs up button show a bit of love and definitely share the video as well if you can maybe even subscribe dare i say for more stranded deep content this is my favorite game i love this game i'm doing lots of content on it don't forget to check out my multiplayer video. I'm so excited by that multiplayer coming to Stranded Deep consoles and PC as well. In the meantime, you have a great day. I'm just going to hang on the beach and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye.